First, start by switching on the grid from the menu bar, followed by creating a platform by selecting the rectangle tool from the toolbar and dragging it over the canvas. Now create the four blocks in the same manner, then set the mass type as Y motion only for all the blocks, also set their mass as one from the properties table. From the toolbar, select spring joint, and attach all the blocks to the platform. Now click on the first spring, and set its spring constant as 25 from the properties table. Similarly set the spring constant as 50 for the second one, 75 for the third one, and 100 for the final one. To make the motion of the system more realistic, set the damping coefficient as 0.6 for each spring from the properties table. Similarly, change the mass type of the platform as infinite from the properties table. Since we want the platform to perform simple harmonic motion in Y direction, make the Y position of the platform as a function of time where the omega signifies the angular frequency of the oscillations. Now, right-click over the canvas to add a slider from the Add Widgets menu. Notice the name of the slider as A. In the equation of the platform replace omega by A, so as to change the angular frequency through the slider. The final simulation would look like this. Observe that the resonant frequency is root K by M for the blocks, that is 5 for the first one, 5 root 2 for the second, 5 root 3 for the third and 10 for the last one. Now disable gravity and run the simulation. Change the slider value to 5 and notice that the first block is oscillating with the highest amplitude. Now change it to 7 and you'll see that the second oscillates with the highest amplitude. Thus we can create and interact with the effect of resonance and many more such phenomena in some fee.